took me six years to learn how to hold my breath for over nine minutes. This is part two on how I trained and got there. Never hyperventilate. A short summary of this was posted at shorts on my channel earlier this week. Firstly, remember to never hold your breath underwater alone. It can be very dangerous and several professional freedivers have drowned because of this. So part two, never hyperventilate. A lot of people ask me if I hyperventilate to hold my breath long. Because it's a common myth that hyperventilating helps you to be able to hold your breath longer. But as I said, that is a myth. The fact is you should never hyperventilate if you want to hold your breath longer underwater. And the reason is this. When you hyperventilate, you get rid of a lot of CO2 in your body and lungs, but you do not get more oxygen. It is mainly the buildup of CO2 that triggers the urge to breathe. So when you get higher levels of CO2 in your lungs, it gets more painful to hold your breath and eventually the urge to breathe gets so strong that you just have to breathe. But since hyperventilating lowers the levels of CO2 in your lungs, you can push the urge to breathe to a later point. And in worst case, you push it so far you will run out of oxygen before you feel any need to breathe at all. Or at least before the urge to breathe gets so strong that you can't hold any longer. And when the oxygen level in the brain gets too low, you will black out and often without notice. And if this happens underwater, you will drown. If this happens when you're laying on your bed, you will just wake up again since your body usually automatically starts breathing again when you lose consciousness. Some signs of low oxygen levels can be blue lips, problems to differentiate between different shades of the same color, for example red and dark red, and you can also experience tunnel vision. These are signs that may happen, but as I said, you may also just black out without any pre-notice. Personally, I have never passed out during a breath hold. And the doctors I have talked to have told me that extended breath holds should be okay as long as I don't hold to the point where I black out. Some freedivers who have blacked out during dives or breath holds have afterwards told they experienced that after a blackout, the time they can hold their breath before they black out next time gets shorter. And if they have blacked out several times, their ability to hold long gets shorter every time. If you get a blackout during a breath hold, you should at least not hold your breath again the same day. Wait a couple of days. So the conclusion here is never hyperventilate before you hold your breath in water. It may feel like you can hold your breath longer when hyperventilating, but you will black out at the same point as without hyperventilating. Part 3 will be about correct breathing technique. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing for more content like this. Have a nice day.